Okay. Uh, Coach Jones, when he talked about just what he was looking for the position and just what he wanted out of the offense, just said he, you know, he didn't think the offense needed to be overhauled and needed to be enhanced. Now that you kind of had some time to look at it, where do you think this offense needs to be enhanced? Where can you enhance this offense? Well, I think the biggest thing is we took everything and broke it down fundamentally. And uh, we need to improve some fundamentals, uh, techniques. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we're going to have a great emphasis on that this spring of improving that. We've already started that in our skill development. So I think that just a concentration on that and not getting too far ahead of ourselves. Uh, mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is not having too many plays in that you have to now execute so many fundamentals. And so we're going to be slow to go with our installation, but mm -hmm. we're going to be great with our technique stuff. So that's one thing. And then the other thing is we're just going through really and we're looking at every every possible play and every possible way they did. And there's a lot of great stuff. I mean, a mm -hmm. lot of great stuff. This staff has done a great job. And yet, uh, I think there'll be some little tweaks here and there that mm -hmm. uh, we're going to do, and probably a little bit more in the passing game than anything. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, we'll we'll do that and work on that this spring. When you talk about fundamentals, I mean, you're just talking across the board. Is there any particular area that, like, you know, whether whether it's offensive line or running backs or anything like that, that sort of stands out that needs to get better fundamentally? Or did you just see it across the board? Um, no, I, I think because we were young in the offensive line, mm -hmm. and uh, and then also, too, uh, there's a lot of offense there, and those kids got to do a lot of things. And the one thing that you know in football is things happen, they're a lot harder, they happen a lot faster, and they're a lot harder to execute inside. When you get out in space, different things can happen, you can make up for it, but when you're in there, in there tight, a lot of things can happen and can affect plays. And so... We just, again, when our inner, in our installation, we just want to take our time and do a great job with the fundamentals of it and not get ahead of ourselves. So we're going to do that. What, uh, yeah, I think kind of the, when everyone sort of looked at this position and just looked at how Butch was, was approaching hiring it, it seemed like obviously he didn't want to make a lot of, you know, again, a lot of overhaul. How much installation, I guess, is there? I mean, how much freedom are you going to have to bring in, you know, your own ideas and how much is sort of, I don't want to say set in stone, but I mean, how much is already kind of established and how much freedom do you have to add to this thing? Well, when, when Butch said he wanted fit and trust, uh, you know, fit defines a lot of things and trust does too, but trust is he can't sit in there all the time. He mm -hmm. can't be in that room all the time. And the trust is, is that he's trusting me and the coaches in there to evaluate what we have and then what's the next step. And I'm just going to tell you that we have great coaches here mm -hmm. and guys that I truly have already learned to value. And uh, so, again, I'm listening to them, and I, I, it's my decision. I have to do it. So he's, he's trusting me in doing that, and I've got, you know, full reign on that. But I'm doing it, I think, the, the, uh, the right way in that I'm including all the coaches, and I'm listening to them and, and listening to what they think might be a great ad or might mm -hmm. be take this out, whatever, and I'm listening why. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we're making decisions that way, and it's, it's been great. Just elaborate a little bit on, on the rest of the coaches and the staff. What do you like about these guys? I mean, who, imagine, I imagine Zach and probably Don, you've got some kind of history with. Who, who else, you know, what do you know about these guys? Basically, what do you like about these guys so far? Yeah, well, Robert, um, Robert uh, Gillespie, I did not know. Mm. Um, I, but I have learned to really know what he's all about. He is a great person. He's a great coach. He's got great knowledge. He has a great relationship with his players. He's great in the office and staff room. And so he was a guy that I really did not know too much about. I've heard a lot of things about him, but I didn't really know. Really, the, everybody else I kind of knew in some way or another. Uh, right. Mark Elder was a graduate assistant for us at Michigan when I coached. So obviously I was around him. When Butch got the job at Central Michigan, I went up and talked to Don Mahoney about some things. And so he and I had that experience way back. Uh, and then when I was the coordinator at Michigan the second time, I went down to Bowling Green where Zach was, mm -hmm. and actually Zach and I talked football then. So I've had relationships one way or another with these guys, and uh, so that's where I think a little bit of the fit really helped. How much does the fact that they've had continuity help you, that, that there's not anybody else coming in, that these guys have, have been here for the two years, they've kind of been through it, how much does it help that you, you don't? there hasn't been any other sort of break in that continuity. I think continuity is always good. And, uh, you know, if you have a lot of coaches coming and going all the time, the mm -hmm. first person that it's bad for are the players. Mm -hmm. I mean, and that's one thing when you look at Butch's staffs, he's really had guys stay. And uh, so that's very important for the players. Uh, mm -hmm. People that they get to know, people they learn to trust, uh, that's where it starts. And then when you get into schemes and things like that, then 
obviously it helps because this system has been built through the years. I mean, this system kind of was starting to be built when Butch and I worked together at Central Michigan a long time ago. Mm. And then gradually it's, you know, gotten to where it is today. And then, uh, you know, we'll add a few wrinkles here and there from my past experience. Just being a past experience.